everybody, Erica Serwin here from Pink Bucker Designs, and I have one more Falling for Leaves project for you this week. This has become quickly become one of my favorite bundles, and it makes beautiful fall-themed cards. Um, I'm also pairing it, of course, with my most favorite stamp, I think of all time, the Buffalo Check Background Stamp. All right, so let's get started. Um, the one thing that I really love about this bundle are these framelits. You can see how beautifully that um, intricate leaf framelit cuts out. Isn't that just gorgeous? We're actually going to start with that because we need to give it some drying time. So you're going to need, this is pumpkin pie on top of mango melody. So let's do our pumpkin pie card, our pumpkin pie leaf first. Now, in case you're wondering about the measurements for this card, you need to click on the link in the description. It will take you back to the original post um, where I have three projects from a Facebook Live, including this one. You'll find a PDF at the bottom of the last picture. Now, I want you to notice I have put the precision base plate on top of my magnetic platform. You can see here. It's an accessory you can buy for your Big Shot, and it's really good for these dies that are more intricate. See, all these little cutting surfaces need pressure on them to cut. So, using this precision base plate will help you get a good cut on those. I'm gonna run it through actually twice, and then I am going to flip it over and see what it looks like. Does it look like it cut pretty well? It does. So I'm gonna set that aside. We're gonna work on that in just a second. But while I have this out, let's go ahead and cut the other leaf that we need, which is the solid leaf from Mango Melody, all right? And we will put that through there, just a solid leaf. And then, there we go. Before we really are done with the big shot, we need to do some embossing here. You can see that I have embossed the corrugated um, embossing folder on this beautiful silver, uh, galvanized silver paper. Galvanized metallic paper is what it's called. So once again, take out that magnetic platform and this time just use your regular base that came with your big shot. All right, I'm gonna put it in here just across, and you can see there's a line here you can line it up with. Now I have cut my, my cardstock longer than what I need because when you run it through on this one, it actually shortens it up a little bit because it's making it go up and down. Here it is, isn't that gorgeous? And we'll trim it to the card. So I, instead of making it four and a fourth, I made it five inches long. You'll see in a second. All right. Now let's bring this guy over and you can see that some of these are just gonna fall out for you. But this is one of those where you wanna take advantage of the die brush. And I always have my paper piercer here too, just to get out those really stubborn, tiny doodads. And actually, honestly, I leave a few of them in sometimes just because it makes it a little more interesting. All right, let's get all of those out. Now, um, adhering this to the solid leaf is tricky. You can see that there's a lot of gaping holes there. So the, the two recommendations I have for you is to first put a multi-purpose adhesive sheet behind your cardstock and cut it then. Um, that way it's like a sticker and you can peel it off. But instead of doing that today, I'm gonna use the fine tip glue and I'm gonna go very lightly. You don't really even need to squeeze um, the little dot there on the end of the needle point is enough because if you put too much, then it's gonna slip and slide around and it's gonna spread out and you're gonna see that glue. So just a little bit, little, little tiny dots all over. And I'm gonna lay it down here like that. Now, normally I get a clear block. Let's see, I have a clear block over here and I'm gonna put a clear block right on top of it like that. I'm gonna move it out of the screen, but I'm gonna put a clear block on it so it'll dry flat. Now make sure you put that needle back in to the little tube there and close it. Otherwise, if you leave it open too long, it'll clog up and then 
it's hard to get it to work again. All right, now, while we're waiting for that to dry, let's do our buffalo check. And if you've watched any of my videos, you know that I prefer to use buffalo be to use my background stamps with the Stamparatus. Um, you're gonna be able to stamp twice or three times if you want. Um, stamping with a background stamp sometimes is a little bit hard when you have just a big block. It's kind of bulky and um, it's kind of hard for your hands to hold it. Um, and then you don't get an even stamp and so it can be frustrating. But the Stamparatus really does fix that. So I'm gonna see where I need to put my paper. This is just Whisper White. And I'm gonna take my magnet and put it down there at the bottom. And we're gonna ink this up with Soft Suede. One tip I have for using your background stamps, especially the Buffalo Check, is that if your ink pad is kind of dry, you need to re-ink it. Um, using a non-juicy stamp pad will prevent you from getting a good image. All right, so let's see. Pressure everywhere. I seem to forget the corners a lot. So lots of pressure. And let's pick it up and see. Very nice. I'm gonna make it a little darker. And because my magnet is holding it in place, I can stamp it again right on top. All right, so let's see. I just love this stamp. I have used it in a multitude of colors on a multitude of different colored cardstock. Now that's perfect. All right, let's take it off. Let me move this out of the way. We need to trim this paper down to fit on our card front. So grab your trimmer. I just used a half of a sheet of Whisper White cardstock just so I could have a place to put those magnets. And we wanna cut it down to four inches by five and a fourth. So let's see, over here on this side, we're gonna get it at four. And then let's cut this one even. And then turn it and put it at five and a fourth. There we go. All right, move the trimmer. I'm running out of room, as always. Now, here is our soft suede card base, and I'm just going to attach this to my card base. Then I'm gonna get that galvanized piece. Remember that galvanized piece we had? And I'm gonna put it right here, and I want to, I'm gonna make it even right here so that I just have to trim off one edge. Put quite a, a generous amount of adhesive on here. I have found that my corrugated pieces are falling off because I'm not giving them enough adhesive to grip to. You know, we only really have half the grip surface because the other half is rolled up. All right, bring your trimmer back over and just line that up. All right, there we go. Now, I have already ahead of time cut a circle. This is from the Farmhouse, Festive Farmhouse DSP. Look, it's actually Christmas paper. But this side, the wood planks can be any season. That whitewashed wood is so trendy right now. So we're gonna use that. We're gonna put that on with dimensionals. And let's just give our, our little leaf a few more minutes to dry. And we're gonna stamp the thankful sentiment onto just a, it's just a leftover piece from, from um, that. It's about three fourths of an inch wide by, let's see what I'm gonna cut it down to. Oh, I don't know, two and a half inches. But then I'm gonna stick it in my Taylor Tag Punch and put a V on each end to make it a banner. All right, let's see. Yep, nice and flat, nice and dry, very good. I uh, get nervous when I use a fine tip glue pen because I am a messy, messy crafter, and I prefer dry adhesive. But sometimes that, that liquid ad adhesive is just really one of the best options. All right, dimensional on that, and we're gonna put that right there. And of course, we want to add a few of these adorable metallic pearls. They come, the package has gold and silver. And let me use my new tool, which is much better. This is the Take Your Pick tool, and it is like a little scalloped, um, not scalloped, but like a little spatula on the end, and it will help you easily scoop up those pearls, although these guys are being ornery. All right, last but not least, we're gonna add a little bow, and this is the braided linen trim. 
one of my favorites right now from the holiday, the 2018 holiday catalog. It's like our linen thread, but thicker, wider. It really is a great little rustic look. All right, scoop that guy off of the glue dot and put it right there on the stem. All right, you guys, I hope you like this stamp. This stamp, although it's fall-ish, could go any time of the year, I think. You could even change the colors around to a light green and make it kind of springy. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to hop over to my blog and check out the PDF. Of course, always let me know if you have questions. Thanks so much, everybody. Bye-bye.